what's good? Ah, yes, it's another episode of Beyond the Noise. It's your man Rudy Rush, comedian Rudy Rush. You might know me from Showtime at the Apollo, Chappelle Show. They're like, what you doing on Beyond the Noise? We watch this with Greg Walls all the time. What you doing? Well, guess what? I joined up with my man Greg Walls. You know, uh, we definitely connected on a whole nother level. I was like, y'all believe in what you're doing, bro. You're doing some great things in the community and, and around the world. This brother is really renowned. And, uh, you know, what's up, man? How you doing, G? Man, I'm doing all right, man. Just uh, glad to be here with you. Glad to be hanging out so I can't complain about much. Now, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell everybody here, man, it, you know, it's very rare that you get two guys get together that from two different worlds to a yeah. to a large degree. Uh, you know, Greg comes from an athletic background and I, I actually come from an even more athletic background. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. but yeah. I, 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 peaked, so I've heard. <laughs> I peaked in high school and I just said, you know what? Forget the millions of dollars. I want to just be a funny guy yeah, and, a, you know, and just, yeah, just relax. So, and, and Greg, uh, you know, decided to actually start one of the highest uh, performance enhancement uh, uh, situations, meaning like, you know, getting people's lives together. We're going to talk a lot about that, but just to get to know us a little bit, for those of you who are just joining us, like I said, I'm a comic over 20 years now. I've uh, been on Showtime at the Apollo as the host after Steve Harvey, been on Def Jam, and my man G has done everything from college football to, to the professional level, and now he, he's taking it to a whole nother level. And we're going to take you and your family and your friends and yourself and all of these good things involved, take you to a whole nother level. So, yeah. G, you know, uh, today, I, I don't want to spring this on you, but I <laughs> definitely wanted to talk about some things because now we're living in a different day and age. You know, we don't know yeah. whether we're going to be <clears throat> shut down tomorrow. People are catching COVID, but within that, there's different health concerns and you know uh sometimes when things get serious people get serious about their health that's the first thing they do Absolutely. and we want to talk about women because a lot of women you know they talk about that quarantine 15 mm -hmm. a lot of people gain weight myself included i got a story i'll tell you later but uh you know uh you are doing something with women you work with women now you know what was your inspiration for targeting because you know the thing i like about what you do is you target different groups you don't uh, you know, have a general plan for right. everyone. You have an uh, individual thing, and one of your specialties is dealing with women. So let's talk about that today. Hey, great point. And you said something earlier uh, that I think can be a little specific to women in the fact that um, it's most of the time, it's the last thing people do is look after they get serious about their health when things get serious mm -hmm. because women are nurturing so they tend to look after other people's health mm. when things get serious you're absolutely right women are so pre-consumed with everyone else they have their children they have the men in their lives possibly they have their parents yeah. women are very nurturing yeah. and they do tend to by default uh they they tend to uh ignore their own health mm. until it's too late. So yeah. you've come in and you've made it easier. And that's one of the things I like about your program too. I've seen you work with women. The one thing I like is you make it custom to what that person's lifestyle is and you make it, it's very hard for someone to say, oh, come in here and lift this, come in here and run on this treadmill. You actually plan things for them that make Absolutely. it fun and healthy. How did you come about with that concept? Man, I, I'm a teacher by trade. So plans, lessons, plans, uh, itineraries, and I'm a coach, so it, it had to make mapping sense in my mind. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to put a program together for somebody, I'm going to look at the time frame they give me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to develop a process or a plan for that time frame to get you what you're looking for. And yeah. if I can't get it, we need some more time. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, that's the one thing when you're dealing with people, too, you got time. Like, some people take a little bit more time than yeah. to get the program. And speaking of that, let's talk about, like, some of the main concerns or some of the main things you see when, a, like, like let's, 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 let's generalize. When women walk into, you know, uh, to your office and they say, hey, uh, G. Walls, we need help with this. What is your, what is the one thing you see that's most common in women? Um... Nervousness, mm. nervousness, because the environment is not built in. Let me go backwards. It, for many years, the environment of fitness didn't look like it was built for women. Mm. So when you go into these places and you already are self-conscious about how you feel, how you look, what you think or what other people think, mm. everybody looks better, different, smarter than you. Mm. So uh, it's almost like taking a lioness who, ha who hasn't realized she's a lioness and putting her in a cage mm. 
with a bunch of animals that are just cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I got that concept. Did y'all break that you down? Because G saying? got deep just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no, I totally understand that because it's almost like the concept. One of my buddies opened up a beauty salon slash barbershop. I said, I don't know if this is going to work, dog. I wanted him to be very successful. But mm -hmm. the problem was, you know, he had to actually uh, build a wall in there and turn it into two separate businesses mm -hmm. because women were walking in there like, I don't want to hear what these guys are talking about. Right. And I don't want them to see me before I get my hair done. You know what I mean? So yeah. much to what you just said, like women come into these places like the gym and they see other women who are in better shape mm -hmm. or in their mind, they could be in better shape or men looking at them like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to show my big old booty and mm -hmm. I got this hanging out and that. So there is a fear. But what you do is you put them in a program and you put them around like minded women to make them comfortable. And I like the fact that you do that and you've gotten a large success rate from that. Absolutely. Uh, what, 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 what we understand, man, is the environment is everything. So that performance experience is for all of the people that we work with, all of the women. We want it to be their experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We want that hour to be their hour in, in the facility we had. Uh, over in Euless before we moved to the other ones, it was, we had a sign that said, this is your hour. So it's important that these women understand that this time belongs to you. You ain't no inhibitions. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can get done. The whole gym process, getting people to join gyms and stuff like that, that's one of the biggest, even as a man, it's like signing up. You don't know what to expect. You're a little nervous. You feel like yeah. you know, you're out of place or whatever. But like I said, you made it comfortable. But let's talk about some special situations. Like what are one of the more, the more proud uh, moments? And you don't have to use a name, of yeah, course, yeah. but like let's say a woman who came in, what was her situation and where is she at now? Working with cancer patients. Um, it's a different, it's a different bird. And, and, let me be clear. I ain't saying, you know, people on their deathbed. Or, I'm just talking about somebody who's coming out of something that heavy or going mm -hmm. into chemo mm -hmm. or, or having to do physical therapy. For me, it's so rewarding to be able to have a conversation with a person, find out where their pain points are, and be able to put something together to help alleviate that. Mm -hmm. So cancer patients uh, is... I get I get a little bit of self pride and, and joy in the outcome. Like I got a few. Uh, there's a lady who I love to death. She is phenomenal. Uh, shout out to Katrina. She uh, I've worked with her and she's a counselor beater. Mm. Uh, and she 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 has a beautiful smile. She mm. loves to smile. So yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Uh, when she come in, the, in you talking about Katrina from downtown? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you, listen, when you black, you just can't say no black. Guy. Right, right, right. Oh, Katrina, Katrina from oh, uptown. Katrina, Katrina. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's Katrina. <laughs> now she, she is, uh, she, she is amazing. She wanted, she just wanted to dance. Yeah. Like she wanted to give it because she, she likes to step. So mm -hmm. I looked in the face. I said, not only are we gonna dance, I get to see you dance and we gonna smile. So long story nice, short, nice. she got back to being in shape, feeling good about herself, beating cancer. And, I literally was scrolling through Facebook mm -hmm. and seen her stepping it out. I had to call her. Nice. Hey, girl, was that you I saw over there? So, <laughs> but nice. those stories like nice. that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's important to, to, to make people understand, women understand their value and their importance. So let me, let me ask you a question, because this is probably what's going to help people who are watching right now understand a little bit more about the process. Mm. So let's just say, like, you know, I'm a lady. I come in and I'm like, hey, G Walls, you know, I am a single mother. Mm -hmm. I got three kids. They're all going here. Here and there, they got school, they got practice. You know, you know what that entails for a mom. That's mm -hmm. a lot. It's a big undertaking, especially for single moms, because a lot of these women, I'm sure, that are coming may be single moms, widow, and mm -hmm. or divorced, whatever the case may be. How does someone with a hectic schedule like that? How do you map out? Tell our viewers and our listeners yeah. uh, what would you? How would you map out a schedule for someone who not only is busy but as a person? who works out yourself, yeah, you know yeah. that there's windows that she may not be able to meet. And some of those windows come with being tired. Mm. You know, like if I don't work out in the morning, yeah. I'm not good at all. Unless, yeah, I, unless I pay money to go at six o'clock and I'm with a trainer. Yep. I yep. ain't going after, after, after uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So how do you actually create these programs? Just come up with a typical program for a single mother of three who's busy working and everything. Man, I love that question. So, 
it, it, it starts with two questions. Number one, how much time can you give me? Mm. Like, how much time can you give me? And how long do you think this is going to take? Mm. Straight up. Like, right. so if, and when I say how much time can you give me, I'm just talking about exercise time. If you can give me exercise time and you tell me how long I got, I'm going to give you way more. At, P, at performance experience, we give you way more. Yeah. So all I need to know, if you got two hours you can give me during the week, that's all I need. If you yeah. can commit to that, then that's eight hours a month. How much you been doing lately? Mm. Mm. You eight hours up. It's an excellent question to ask because sometimes I got 30 minutes on Thursday where most people think in an hour. Sometimes people like I got 45 minutes. Right. Some people are like, hey, gee, I only got 15 minutes today. And you can kind of schedule yes. along those lines and, and give people what they need. And I think that is the fun part of fitness yes. to do things in your own time and feel accomplished. So, you know, what what made you come up with the, that flexible concept? Because some people are just so cookie cutter, like, yo, we got to mm -hmm. be here for an hour. Mm -hmm. This is what I need. This is what it costs. More people are concerned with the bottom line that affects them as opposed yep. to the client. Yep. Well, what I, I learned that in, in inside of structure, uh, control chaos is what you want mm -hmm. because you have to be flexible to get things done. For example, that same person that got 30 minutes on Thursday and an hour on Tuesday, come see me mm -hmm. on Tuesday for an hour and then we'll do a virtual on uh, Thursday. Listen, when I used to go to the trainer, I'd be like, can we have a consultation today? <laughs> <laughs> can we consult three yeah, times like, in a row? <laughs> like, I ain't trying to work out today. Hey, but here go the crazy part about what I'm saying. But outside of that, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold you accountable. I need to see what meals you're eating. Mm -hmm. I need to know. <clears throat> I'd like to see what meals you're eating. I'd like to know what you're doing outside of that hour and a half. You see me every week. I'm going to send you some other information. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you when you miss. Mm -hmm. Or my teammate, hey, hey, we didn't see you this morning. We're looking for you. I'm going to call you 15 minutes before it's time for you to be there. Mm -hmm. Because the consistency of holding a person accountable Absolutely. makes them important. And I think in this space, women not not have to just feel important they need to be important mm. and my, my mom is important yeah. you see what i'm saying no, no i feel you. i feel that for real and it's it, it you know it's it's cool to hear you say that and you know a lot of people don't understand this part for me and yourself we're men so our bodies are a little different so yeah. as we talk to these people that are watching there are some men watching and there's a bunch of women watching as well let these ladies know, because I think a lot of them don't understand, it's not about lifting weights mostly. Yeah. For it's not about cardio. So in in your personal, professional opinion, what is the major reason or the major uh, effect of women losing weight outside of just going to the gym? Wellness, uh, with eating, mm. eating and, and drinking water. Mm. Real talk. So <laughs> this is the way I see it. Everything works. If I wanted, I know how to lose 10 pounds in three days. Mm. I know how to do it. And I can show people how to do it. It'll work, but it won't get you what you asked me for. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if, if people would modify and moderate, like don't try to shift what you've been doing for years and mm. days is not going to happen. Yeah, you got to take a little at a time, take oh. take a little little pieces. You can still mm. have that slice of pizza, but maybe yeah. not maybe not every other every other day. But ladies, ladies need to be honest with themselves. Mm. Like I like pizza. <laughs> so I'm not going to be a vegan. Wait, hold on. It don't <laughs> sound like that. It's I like <laughs> you got to put some bass in it like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Women who like pizza say yeah. I like pizza. I don't know, man. So my people like pizza. <laughs> I, know, I like but pizza. I just, I think as far, I think it's uh, it's flashy and overwhelming, mm -hmm. like like the answer. But the truth is in the process, man. Like, ma'am, if you let me see you for three months, eight hours a month, just show up. Mm. Watch what happens. Just show up, yeah. straight up. Like, you might not get that goal you was looking for. You might yeah. not get them 30 pounds, but show up and watch how you start changing. Mm. I think another thing is, too, G, like I tell people this all the time because, you know, I am on the other side of fitness where I have, you know, gotten involved as far as getting my health together. 
making my body look the way I would like for mm-hmm. it to look. I've never trained or been a trainer or, or things of that nature. But one of the things I do embark when people ask, because people do ask because I perform and people say, yo, what are you doing? What you mm-hmm. push up? I'm like, you know, the biggest thing that I tell people is patience because that's a huge thing. And, and one of the things I heard you say kind of within the uh, the confines of, of, of your, your, your system is the end result or the time frame because I'm telling you the first couple of weeks people are different as bo- in body count and body wise mm-hmm. body mass mm-hmm. or whatever so you understand like some people will get results like you and I like you said you can lose 10 pounds of, like we could go to the gym right now and come out with a different body yes there's most most men can do that but not all but then with women it's totally different sometimes they're results kick in after two and three or four weeks so one night you wake up and it same thing for us like i know i've had a belly before and i was like gosh man i'm working two three weeks and this ain't going nowhere but then i keep it up and then one night i wake up the next morning and my my stomach is flat yeah, yeah, abs yeah. kick in yeah. so for women how long is that process and you know you know how do you get them through that you know what that that's a great question man nobody's ever asked it like that but what comes to my mind is, as far as natural mm-hmm. progression, and I mean natural, like trees, animals, uh, humans, everything grows the same way. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I have to cultivate something over time in order f- to sustain the roots and keep it grown like that. Or I can force it, I can chia pet it. Mm-hmm. But how long does a chia pet last? That hair goes down pretty quickly. You see Real what I'm quick. saying? So I think as far as w- as women go, if if the number wasn't the most important thing, women would really, some women, because I don't want to use everybody, would appreciate the process more because they actually uh, change more rapidly than men. Mm. They don't lose weight. Or gain muscle as fast but as they lose the waist. But yes, their their that's body the construct thing. changes, yeah. and that's part of the reason why. And you can look this up. That's part of the reason why the weight distribution is different because mm. it's estrogen versus testosterone in a natural state. Let, let's use let's use a topic that we just don't want to shy away from, like the fake butts and the fake. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. so just check this out, real time. Real serious, All right. right now. So that is a instant situation with a bunch of deficiencies. Totally. But I'm telling you, if you build the hamstring, the lower part and the upper part of the hamstring, and ladies really work on their hip, over time, they butt going to be as naturally round as it'll be. That's real talk. No, that's excellent. You see, now it might take eight months, but you got to be consistent. Or you can go spend $4,000 on something that look like it don't belong on your body anyway. Now, I ain't knocking everybody to do it. I just say some of them look a little different. But I'm speaking in process, like chia pet versus oak tree. No, totally. A lot of women are running and putting that, you know, putting taking fat out of their back and putting it into their behind, but not being told of some of the deficiencies from that or being mm. or, or having the understanding that, yo, you still got to work out. There's still work to be done. You got to work around those spots. Like, yeah, that's not good. That's yeah. not good, G. We, we, we're here to just like embark this, give give you this information yeah. that is very, very important because, you know, the funny thing about life now, as opposed to 20, 30, even 40 years ago, our parents never, there were never this many gyms. I don't know if there was even an access to, yeah. to a gym. You know, our parents didn't work out at 35, 40. Mm-hmm. Like I've, my parents never worked out. I don't think a day in their life. My pops was, you know, built, you know, uh, you know, he had natural good genetics and stuff. Yeah. My mom as well. But, you know, we have the capability or we live in a society now that everything is about fitness. Everything is about looking good and feeling good and being healthy. Like it is important, you know. And so uh, one of our next episodes, we're going to be talking about how we transfer from the mothers into the children, because it is a very connected. It's almost the umbilical cord of fitness. It's yeah. like you are the way you are and your children are an extension of that. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But, you know, before we get out of here, let's talk about, 
you know, some of the programs that you have that involve just with women? I know you do a lot of mixing. You have classes and boot camps mm -hmm. and things mm -hmm. of that nature. But what do you have like gender specific for women? Well, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily. It's not necessarily gender specific. However, it is is most it's, it's mostly women like we do our mm -hmm. group. Uh, like we have a 28 day challenge coming up uh, on it begins September 6th uh, and it's going to be the majority of women mm -hmm. uh, and that challenge is, is a challenge mm -hmm. you know it's and it's not about uh, you know uh, 28 days of do this and then stop yeah. it's it's uh, a progression of habit mm -hmm. is what we're trying to build so you're going to get results because of the nutritional plan and because of the um, other things that go along with it but we have that for majority women. Mm -hmm. We also do semi-private training for women who need a different time or they looking for something a little bit more specific, but they want their homegirls to work out with them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We we got three or four in a group that we work with with a specific instructor mm -hmm. who is going to build the program according to what you're looking for. Yeah, and, and that's then, fun. A lot of women out there like to work out with their friends so they don't yeah, seem like it's all on them. It's everything, and, man. And yeah, they, they have a lot more fun and they, get, they feel like, you know, the class goes by faster or the session, I should say. So that's really good that you offer some things like that because that's what people need to know. Like yeah. those things are available. So how can people get in contact with you to get these things done. Hey, listen, you can see us at, at on Facebook at The Performance Experience. Just shoot us a message or send something in the comments. I have my group uh, of people that I have personally trained over the last umpteen years. You guys can find us at Performance Experience. You can find us at uh, PE28.com or you can find the programs. Shoot us a message, Instagram uh, at Performance Experience, Twitter at Performance Experience. We always answer it. We're looking for you. Uh, Things of that nature. So our website again is pe28.com, or you can just email us. Email me at greg at pe28.com. I'll give you what answers you're looking for. We'll make sure you, we get you with the right person, and you'll get a quick response. At Rudy Rush, what to find out where I'm performing? Uh, RudyRushOnline.com. Mm -hmm. You can always catch me here with my man G Walls. Yeah. All right, beyond the noise, you know how we do it. And uh, this is this has been a really good episode. I hope you've gotten a lot of information, ladies especially, because yeah. we like to kind of focus on the most important thing. And the mothership is the most important thing, because y'all no, y'all y'all the helm. You know what I mean? And any, any parting uh, comments, G? I just, I really, in in the wake of what we what we're dealing with, what we're going through, people need to understand the severity of their own health. Mm. And women, in my opinion, especially because without you, there is no life. So if you're looking for somewhere to go or somewhere to be or a quality group of women who's going to push you along or some amazing instructors and performance experiences is a place to be. Uh, and if you don't see us over there, I encourage you to go see my man Sam Davis and Chris Davis uh, and my and my girl Chris Davis at Fit Tribe Gym. Why you put so? Why you gotta put some bass in your voice? Hey man, that's my late night radio uh, voice. Yeah, I gotta get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get it, went in yeah, and out. I, I heard my man Keith Foot on the Sweat Hotel. I was like, I'm better than that. But I was at, but I was at a Boys to Men concert. Hey, hey man. girl, come on down to performance. We'll really. <laughs> no, definitely not. But yo, G is is the real deal. So make sure you follow him. Get at him. Get in here and let's you know let him work out something that 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 fits into your yeah. lifestyle. And that's the most important thing. Things fitting into your lifestyle. And when it fits into your lifestyle, it's fun, and it's it's something that you look forward to. And that's the most important thing on your journey back to being what you want to be. Absolutely, bro. All right, yo, good job, G man. We're gonna see y'all next episode. So make sure y'all rock out guys. with us. All the information is right here for y'all to follow us. Make sure you subscribe. Rock out with us, Rudy Rush. <laughs> G-Walls, man. We'll see y'all next episode. All right? Beyond the noise. Thank you, man. Yeah.